Our shout out tonight to the reporter at the Orange County Register in California who has doggedly pursued the scandal of sexual abuse at USA Swimming. Orange County is kind of the epicenter of American swimming. This, so this was really in our, our backyard. Scott Reed calls himself a sports investigative reporter. And over the years, we've done a lot of investigative work on uh, sexual abuse in USA Gymnastics. So this kind of blended into to swimming. And he quickly realized USA Swimming had a lot to hide. It wasn't easy. It's a very um, closed network. Uh, it's a good old boys network. Uh, there's a couple, a handful of people that kind of run the sport, really powerful coaches. And and if you want to move up in the sport, uh, you know, you don't want to cross. But Reed took the time to listen to survivors, young women who had been abused, but who felt that USA Swimming was covering up what happened. You, you ask these, these, these survivors, about what happened to him, and you're really the first person to, to really give them, give them an honest listen. And I think that was huge. I think that was a, a big part of our reporting. But Reed's stories did not go over well with USA Swimming and local readers who were part of the swimming community. A lot of pushback. Yeah, a lot of pushback, you know, nasty emails, nasty uh, calls. Reed's most recent story involved allegations brought against swim coach Sean Hutchinson. He was a, a world championship team coach in 2009. He was an Olympic team. He's on Olympic team uh, coaching staffs, and he he ran this uh, high-profile Olympic prospect training group in, in Fullerton, California. And there was allegations that Hutchinson was uh, physically involved with a swimmer he coached by the name of Ariana Coopers, who was the world champion and world record holder in the 200 IM. During that decade, he stole many things from me, including my swimming career, my college experience, friendships, my virginity, and ultimately my Olympic dream. USA Swimming investigated it. Uh, eventually cleared him of any wrongdoing. But documents Reed obtained told a much different story. What these documents sh show is that the person that was hired to investigate th this matter, um, a, p a woman who was a former 20, uh, was a 27 year veteran of the FBI, uh, was told not to interview certain people, was not allowed to interview certain people. And so what we found was, were, was a deposition and some other documents from this investigator that proved that th this that the finding of the investigation was just, was just totally incorrect. One more example of the power and importance of investigative journalism and staying on the story. You can't let that dictate you. You have to do, you have to do what, what's best for the reader, what's best for people you write about. You know, a newspaper uh, have, has a responsibility to its readers to uh, sometimes tell them what they don't want to hear. So our shout out tonight to Scott Reed at the Orange County Register. That's our report for tonight. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you back here again next week. Good night.